Welcome back. So we are going to make some fish today for our project. We read the book in our last session um, called Only One You and it was a book with painted rocks as fish and I asked you to stop for a minute and take a look at some of those fish and see if you noticed any of the details. So today we are going to make our own version. We're going to draw, color, and cut it out. And then if you want, you can write your name and your teacher's name on the back and we will put it in a drop box at the school and then um, I will hang them around the school so that when we come back, there will be some artwork already hanging in the school. Or if you wanna keep it, you can hang it up at home. Make sure you take a picture of it though and submit it so that I can see your beautiful drawing. And if you want, you can also post it to the Padlet. That link is um, under teacher information when you go to the art um, the art tile on the Schoology. So um, you can post it in two places, but make sure that you turn it in and I will see you on Friday. I'm gonna get to the how-to and show you how it's done. Now we're going to think about two different design elements here. We're going to think about lines and colors. So when we think about lines, Let's think about all of the different kinds of lines. There are straight lines that are thin. There are straight lines that are thick. We have dashed lines, zigzag lines, curly cues, um, scallops lines, the castle line or the box line. This is a variegated line, which means that it changes. So it goes dash, dot, dash, dot. This is a big curved line. We could do this one with the squigglies or this one, which is like a wave. You can do any kind of line that you like. And then we're going to add color when we're done adding our lines. So you can use pencil or you can use your marker. And we're gonna go ahead and add our lines. Notice how I'm changing it up and I'm using different lines each time. All right, now that I have my lines done, I can go ahead and add my color. Now the really great part about this project is that we are going to cut it out so it does not have to be colored within the lines. If you go out a little bit, that's okay. If you wanna add patterns, you can do that before you add color too. So sometimes I like to add a little bit of pattern and maybe put in some little polka dots. Maybe I'll just put in some triangles down here. Whatever you want. And we're gonna go ahead and add our color. Now that it's all colored in with crayon, we can go through and cut it out. Notice that I have a couple of spots where I went outside of the lines. That is okay because I am going to cut away that extra stuff. Now when we're using scissors, our thumbs are pointing up. We have one finger at the bottom or maybe two if you have those kind of scissors. Your thumb is pointing up. We are pointing away from our body. 
And our other hand is holding the paper, but it is out of the way. Notice that we never have our hand in front of the scissors. It's always to the side or behind it. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Open, close. And we're going all the way around. Now, if this paper starts to get in the way, just get rid of that. We'll come back in and start again. Open, close. My scissors are pointing away from my body. My other hand is safely out of the way to the side. My thumb is pointing up. Again, move my hand so that it is out of the way. Okay, now we're going to recycle these paper scraps. And on the back, I'm going to write my name and my teacher's name. So, and when we flip it back over, our fish is done. Now, you'll take a picture of it and submit it through Schoology. If you want, you can also post it on our Padlet that link is available under teacher information. And if you um, want, you can bring it to school and I will have a drop box for the fish that you can leave it um, so that I can hang them throughout the school and they will be ready to go when you come back. Okay. So let's just make sure that we have everything we needed for this project. Here's our only one you fish. We wanted to one, draw fish. We did that. Two, add lines and pattern, did that. Three, add color, did that. Four, we cut it out, yep, we did that. Now five, we hang it in our window or turn it in either way. If you wanna share it, I would love to hang them in the school. If you wanna keep them at home, you can do that as well. I can't wait to see what you do.